What's up everybody, well, oh, wasn't facing the camera there, well, the screen. What's up everybody, welcome back to Last Day on Earth Survival, here again on my main account. Haven't been doing really anything much on my free to play account since I completed the 3x3 metal room, because once you got to that point, you're basically in end game, and the entire point of my free to play account was to prove that you could get a steel room and absolutely stacked on supplies entirely free to play, which I've basically now done. So I will be doing the occasional video on there, but not as many as before. Now anyway, on to today's video. As you saw, I believe it was probably the last video, we did the fully modded Uzi. Well today, we're going for the Winchester. I've completed some of these lovely mods for it. Which is going to make our Winchester look absolutely swanky. And let's get these ones. I've got a couple of the scopes and barrels done because I want to try a few different variations. So our Winchester is going from this to this. That is a bit of an extreme change. So let's just take a look at the stats for it now. Original Winchester. And I mean, just look at the difference in it. That is easily the most staggering difference that you see in any weapon that you can modify in this game. So base damage 25, speed 0.8, fully modded 35, speed 0.7. So we have actually just made it slower. However, if I take a look here, okay, not that one. Is it this one? There we go. That will put the speed up. Yeah, that puts the speed back up to normal. However, it does decrease. Uh, what does it decrease? Decreases crit damage a little bit, but mainly... Oh wait, that's not the right one. This one. Yeah, decreases the crit chance and range. A little bit of an increase to speed. I think we're just going to go with that because it looks so much nicer. Let's save those modifications. And let's throw them all onto there as well. Sadly, I believe the only mod I haven't got unlocked for the Winchester, like, able to complete, is the Silencer. I would have absolutely loved to take this lovely little gun out on a raid, but sadly, we cannot. Right, okay, we are now needing to pee. All right, and I could probably do with getting something to eat as well, but I might just eat some raw meat. Yeah, that should be fine. Right, I think what we're going to do is our usual test of guns versus Ravager. Now, because I have been recycling all of my Winchesters, because I decided they were absolutely useless before fully modding them, I don't actually have any apart from these two. Alright then. Rotten Yokel, you take 31 damage from our lovely Winchester. I can't tell what the range on it is at the moment. If you would die. Ah, oh, I left it on 1 HP. And that one's dead. That's. I'd say it's still just a glorified zip gun. When is it in range? Yeah. Savage Giant aggroed on us before we could start you shooting it because we do smell a little bit. I'd say it's definitely better than it was before. But honestly, it's still just feels like a glorified zip gun like what the zip gun should be when fully modded definitely i'm gonna say not worth all the resources it costs to make the mods for it Ooh, hey we got a oh that was a valuable survivor's diary in there nice hey rotten yokel <sighs> one hp really uh, it's going to be like that for all of them, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, and we are down to basically one and a half Winchesters left. There you go. You saw the lovely, amazing, fully modded Winchester. Right then, I was actually hoping I would load into my base to see I'd been raided. But sadly, we haven't been, so we're going to have to throw some coins at the raiders. There you go. Give me a lovely base to go and steal the loot from. And I think I'll grab a couple C4 and Glocks and bits from my storage. Where am I looking? Let's get two C4. 
Let's get... You know what? Let's take a VSS with me today. Let's take a VSS and a Glock. Uh, let's do it like that. Yeah, that should be good. Those bits can go in there. And let's equip them. So yeah, I would have done the Winchester Silence, but yeah, obviously you can't do that, unfortunately. Now, I need to make sure that this Glock is actually silenced. It is. Perfect. Alright then, let's end off the video with a raid. It is currently 2 o'clock in the morning here. I couldn't decide between... As I was saying, I couldn't decide between watching the new episode of Game of Thrones and recording. So, it's turned out that it's... 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm halfway through the episode of Game of Thrones. Well, like 15 minutes in. Right. Mr. Casco, your base is a little bit confusing. I'm going to research you on YouTube quickly. Alright then. Casco is a completely open plan base with a steel room inside. However, unfortunately, the devs have patched the little glitch that let you get inside steel rooms, unfortunately. So, the only loot we're going to be getting is going to be from these boxes out here. There you go, this is a steel room. Just make sure it's steel all the way around. Which it looks like it is. Yeah. Okay, well then, Mr. Casco, I'm going to be taking some of your stuff if you don't mind. Ooh, I'll take a Glock. Oh, I'm definitely happy with a free Glock. Right then. Let's just get some of these dead quickly. I managed to fix my audio bug. I ended up not recording a video... Ooh, I think it was a couple days ago. Because I just had absolutely no sound. I tried recording about three times. Couldn't get any game audio. Right then. We are going to be breaking into a box around here next to the sewing bench. I believe. Yep, this is the one. I've got the video playing at the moment on my other monitor. There we go, we've got a minigun, a shotgun, 101 tickets, and a machete. Right, let's see where else we should break. Okay, so had a quick click through the video. We want to open up this box as well as, I believe, the one next to it. No, it was just this one. So, already on this raid, we have gotten 201 tickets. And now we are starving to death. I think the first box we broke actually had carrots in it. If I'm recalling correctly. Yes, it did. Perfect. Nom, 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 nom. There we go. Much better. All right. Are there boxes anywhere else in this base? Are there a few splattered around down here? Be nice if there are. Give me a few more options. Nah, it's not looking like it, is there? Nah. Okay. So the small boxes that are in that area don't, from the looks of it, actually have anything worth breaking into. And the box to my left, next to the one I've already broken, is actually empty. Right, let's get one of them. Let's get some of them. Let's get another hatchet. Let's get a bit of oak. And... Let's get some iron, because I'm actually... I say running low on iron. I've got about half a trunk of iron. That counts as running low for me. Right, um... Grab some... Grab some leather. Now, yeah, there are more zombies coming. You can die, Toxic Abominations. Dead, 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 dead. What you got in this box for me? And what you got? Ooh, a steel plate. That's pretty nice. Um, Let's chuck something. Let's go for that one. Let's grab the steel plate. I'm just going to eat those turkeys because I am not going to take them away with me. Right, I need to check how much noise we're at, and then we'll have a look at breaking into a couple more of these boxes. 53, okay, yeah, we got loads to go. In there, absolutely nothing good. Okie dokie. What are we getting in there? Still nothing good, alright. Got three boxes left to break. I'm thinking that we've probably already got the best items we're going to from this base. Which, to be fair, one, two, three, four, five guns, one of which is a minigun. That is not a bad raid. You know what, I think I... Hmm. As much as I like my VSS, I think it should be a little bit more modded. So, yeah, I've now got a target for the next video. Try and fully mod my VSS. In case you haven't noticed, I'm not doing as frequent videos as before. I'm 
streaming a little bit more and playing the game off camera to do grinding for these weapon mods. Alright, let's open up the last one. See if there's anything in here worth taking. I'll take the alcohol. I'll take the meds. And I think I'll leave it at that. Oh, you know what? We got this hit. Absolutely nothing. Alright, people. I'm going to end off the video here. So, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I'll be seeing you all next time. And remember, do not mod your Winchester. It's not worth it. Bye.